right, guys, Ian Anderson, Corey Merle, Central Coast to the Golf. We're back with the final nine holes of the 2018 Music City Open in Nashville, Tennessee, brought to you by Dynamic Discs. Chris Dickerson's got a three-stroke lead, and we're on hole 10, Corey. He does have a three-stroke lead. He just picked one up on hole nine on the back half of our part one footage where he did eagle that long downhiller. Um, this one is about half that distance. Just your basic Heiser par three. Um, there okay. is that water long of the basket on that left side. Um, and then the right side, all the, that rough does provide, you know, not ideal footing and not the ideal putting line, but it's it's just your basic hyzer. Any OB to worry about? Uh, just that water on the left. That's pretty much it. Okay. Chris, putting up a beautiful looking hyzer. Just go in. Oh. Uh, a little or short, but. In the bullseye works too. <laughs> yep. He's going for birdies, not aces. Mm -hmm. Proctor, get left. Ew. Yeah, she's stable, girl, but I don't know if she's that stable. Yeah. yeah that's, a, that's in James' range. Oh, for sure. Yep. Uh, Long-haired James up third. Going to the T-Bird well. This looks good. It looks too good. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh-oh. Never trying yeah. to spin the second camera guy when he's behind the basket. <laughs> yeah, never a good problem. No. Cam? Wow. Prodigy boy is scaring this basket, Corey. Yeah, under the bucket. I mean, really, you better be birdieing this one. Um, yeah. There's not really any good reason not to. It's right in front of your face. 420 yep. feet. Just throw it. Which they all can. Uh, James does miss his birdie putt. Conrad also looking for a long two. No. Nope. Yeah, that's been the kind of the bane of his existence lately is getting himself – Kind of, you know, not not far away from the basket, but just in a position where he's forced to put an awkward straddle putt out there, and and you know he he is good at them, but that's you know we've been talking a lot. That's kind of what's killing him lately. Yeah, looks like we're gonna be looking at uh, two prodigy birdies and two James pars. <laughs> hey man, at least they're keeping it in theme. I like that. Uh, I appreciate uh -huh. that. Yeah. Here is Conrad to clean up the par. Tried to jump out on him. It sure did. And Dickerson after just a great drive. Perfect putt. Speaking of perfect putt, I feel like he might have used perfect putt 360 a time or two. Yeah, great app. Check that out. Uh -huh. Get your putt putting game working. Uh, there are those two birdies. Uh, Crystal with the lead, and we're on hole 11. Yep, right back over that lake that was playing to the left of the last basket. Um, Either a lake or a giant bowl of split pea soup. It's one of the two. I, I'm, I'm not sure which, but regardless, the pin is up on this little hill, so it's really just you know throw it straight at it. If you're a sidearm guy like me, you, it's really appetizing. Just throw the sidearm hyzer at it. Um, otherwise, just stick it close and hope you don't have a death butt. You, you didn't give it a taste to find out which one it was? No, no. I did get close to lining up some golf balls and hitting some putts across that nice golf green. Uh -huh. It uh, turns out it's water. It, it sure is. And Chris, oh, come on. This game's not, gonna, not that easy. I was going to say, yeah, you're not getting on strokes on him either, doing stuff like that. Nope. And the opportunity to lose him is definitely there with all this OB lurking. Mm -hmm. Cam, that's going to nestle in time. Looking like another couple prodigy birds. Mr. Proctor. Safe shot here, Corey. Very safe. Probably, honestly, too safe. He is going to have a little bit of a putt coming back, but that's the At good safe. It, yeah, the drive's not OB. That disc was not going to fade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and Conrad throwing the flex per the usual. Cutting over to Harper Cam for this one. Oh, nice. Thank you, Harper. Mm -hmm. I heard that kid crushes, Corey. He does. He won advanced. Did he? Yep. Shot 1,000 rated the first two rounds. Kind of slipped up in the last round, but he had a few strokes to give. So Wow. And he's 14 shooting 1,000 rounds? Yeah. Gosh. Apparently, I don't know if it's for a fact, but apparently I heard that Will Shoestrick kind of took him under his wings. Um, wow. But what I thought is really cool is he, he doesn't have like a parent or anything that's kind of guiding him into disc golf. He found it on his own on the internet uh -huh. and taught himself through Will Shoestrick videos. <laughs> that's fantastic, man. Right? A bunch of great putts right here for birdies. Man, those are some good wings to be. Oh, thanks, James. <laughs> that's the that's the harp, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Tournament plastic. Yep. 
Is it Gold Line? I'm pretty sure it's Gold Line. Uh, it would be Gold Line if it wasn't West Side, but it's Tournament because it is. Oh, that. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Damn you, being right and stuff. It's the worst. <laughs> <laughs> Cam with a nice birdie putt, and Chris just has an absolute drop in. Like I said, you had to throw it a little bit, but not That's much. That's true. That's true. It yeah. it was suspended in the air for a little while. Yeah. Or I guess not so much suspended, but flying through the air for a little while. Yeah. And there's your star frame. Uh, it's it's doable on that one, but you kind of figured at least some somebody would have run into trouble, but thankfully that did not happen. Uh, hole 12. Any trouble on this one? Um, there shouldn't be. Uh, it's a pretty routine par four. I kind of wish the tee pad was moved up maybe 100 feet or so and make it like a really interesting par three. Uh -huh. But uh, for this one, as long as you don't hyzer out early left, you're just going to be in the middle of a field with uh, maybe 100 to 150 foot approach. Okay. Um, really, just throw it straight, hard, or something stable. Uh, OB, cart path and beyond? Cart path and beyond, so left side of the basket, which you shouldn't be testing, and then left side, kind of in the middle of the fairway, maybe 300 feet away. Okay. Uh, Chris smashing one just right up the middle. He is so good. He's just so, so clean and so, like, I say repetitive. Usually I say that as a bad thing, but this he's, it's just like it, his actions are so repeatable. It's incredible how consistent it is. Yeah. Really important. Get that routine down. Uh, Cam leaks a little right, but really doesn't pay the price. Nope. You can see it's it's a pretty, you know, this one does lack scoring separation. There's just that you have to really mess up for you to take a four, and you have to yeah. really do something special to take a two. Sure. James, no, that's gonna be fine. Should birdie and. <laughs> I Didn't it look like I missed his shot? I know. I hundred percent. I was like, oh, I guess he missed his drive. This is his uh, run up from the fairway. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> it crushed it. T bird or, or destroyer? Scorpius or there. Better? Scorpius again. Yeah, Man, he yeah. loves that thing. No, I know. He throw. I mean, it's just so obnoxiously stable that in a course where you just need to be predictable, it's the it's the right choice. You know. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Uh, Cam with a nice upshot. We're looking at James's now. At that harp again? Yes, sir. Beautiful. Nice shot, James. Uh, Chris? Looks like Conrad out drove him by like six feet. Yeah, but I mean, it's, it, it, the distance matter. does not matter. <laughs> yeah, one bit. No. So. It's just making your upshot a little bit easier. Well, yep. Hoping a prayer at throwing it in. Yeah, that was always fun. Yep, and there's that routine. You can see he does it every time, huh? Every time. I mean, look how close he is. He could have just walked up and tapped it in. Yeah. But uh, I've seen people miss from that short. Yeah. When you don't, you get, you get a little cocky. I've seen me miss from that short. A lot. <laughs> Always. It's yeah. the worst. Those are those ones in the morning where, like, I'm playing by myself, and I'm like, uh -huh. you know what? I don't miss those usually. I'm counting it. Like, <laughs> 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 Remind me to take your, your score with a grain of salt now. <laughs> <laughs> Solo rounds anyway. I'll, I'll right. That. All right. Star frame on that one. I'll look at a hole 13 next. Yep. This is another incredible hole for guys who don't throw maybe 550, 575. Um, off the tee, it's downhill and then back uphill, like your classic valley shot. Uh -huh. um, as far as you can get it up this hill, that's your goal, just to make that second shot more like a putt than, um, than like a throw. Okay. Really, the only danger here is hyzering out early uh, onto that left side because that hill is going to fall away right to left. All right. Dickerson has the box per the huge. I mean, that's got a birdie. Yeah. A hundred times out of a hundred. Yeah, and I mean, that's a, you know outside chance at an eagle for sure. Yeah. Cam, I wouldn't put him out of contention for reaching this basket. Uh, he turned it over like that a little bit too much and... He's probably out of contention, but you're right. I mean, he throws far. Oh, he does, yeah. So does this guy, James Proctor, getting it high enough to give it a chance. That's a stable that's a stable enforcer right there. Ooh, my goodness. Yep. <laughs> that's a long upshot, but should be fine. And James Conrad doing the uh, James Conrad thing. Get it in the air, though. Yeah, it's so much power left on it. Mm-hmm. Just tag that hill. Uh, looking at Proctor's second shot, trying to get up. All day. Basic. 
Conrad. That'll play. Yep, another one of those holes that doesn't necessarily have a bunch of scoring separation associated with it. Um, yeah. Like one of those good in theory holes, but in practice it's like, oh, well, everybody's just going to three this. Yeah, Jabe's threw about the worst shot possible off the tee. Yeah, and he still had a really <laughs> easy three. <laughs> still had a really easy birdie. There's that harp again doing work for him. Got a bunch more of those if you guys want some. They fly the great. Store. They do, yeah. You know, beating a little bit slower than your, your BT hard. That's true. Yep. Uh, there is another star frame back to back. Chris still three stroke lead over a cam. Uh, Conrad just one more back. Proctor lurking. Let Dynamic Discs help distinguish the winners at your next event. We've got many options from a mini disc to a full size disc, and we can do custom wrapped baskets from the micro recruit all the way up to a veteran. We can help design your trophies, and we have discounted prices on larger orders. Our designs feature sharp graphics and vibrant colors. We have what it takes to set your events winners apart from their bags to their backyards. Learn all the ways we can help at dynamicdiscs.com. All right, we are back to the action. Got to thank DD and our homeboy Danny. Oh, Danny Lindahl. Actually, you work on your form. Hit up that guy, man. I was gonna say, sneaky. He's my uh, he's my throwaway pick in, at Ledstone. Really? Yeah, I think wow. he might be able to keep it in bounds. Look at you. <laughs> Digging deep. <laughs> Hole 14. This looks scary. This is really scary, but also really cool. 477 feet downhill with a left to right shape. Um, really touchy. So it asks for a flick, really. I mean, just by the shape. But I really uh -huh. think it's a backhand shot. Just like an Annie the whole way? Just an Annie the whole way and grace it in. The grass huh. is really like Velcro-y. So you're not going to get a huge skip. If you're playing that flick, you probably want to hang it out really wide left and skip it all the way in. You think Chris is playing for par or just come up short on that forehand? I, I think he just came up short. Honestly, the hole seems a lot shorter than it is. Huh, okay. It looks like Cam came up short and James is going to come up short too. Roll. Roll. <laughs> the OB <laughs> is just really close on that basket too. It's really scary to go for it. Yeah. It looks like it's pretty easy to turn over a forehand and go left OB as well. Very true. Is this that M4 from from uh, no, Conrad? No, that's a that's a JK AVR. Is it really? Yeah. No. Oh. Come on, <laughs> dude. Sickness. We all thought that was in. Shut up with this shot, Conrad. Look at it, just form and corkscrew out. Best AVR thrower oh. in the freaking world, man. Dude, it's unreal. God. And that's a that's not a brand new, but a basically a brand new uh, one of his signature James really? Conrad. Yeah, the J the JK Glow Pros. God. That's one of the prettiest flights I've watched in in a long time. I love that shot. My only, I mean, j you could, he was so giddy. He thought that was going in, dude. I don't blame him. It looked like it, it was tracking. Yep. Ooh, half bit there from Cam, but danger behind and James just posterizing this hole. Yeah, when you're putting in with a like stool in your left hand on a 477 foot hole, that's doing work. That you threw a putter on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's actually very true. Go on, so cool. Getting a stroke on the card there, and he earned that one, Corey. Mm-hmm. They the, so they've set up this course one other time. It was in 2014 for the Rumble uh -huh. at Ravenwood. And like the one little like trailer hype clip they had was of Ken Climo, Barry Schultz, and Logan Bowers all toing this hole, all really? on the same card. But only one of them was able to do it with that touchy park job of a backhand. Wow, that's incredible. Uh, where are we going to hole 15, Corey? Just right there? Right there, just across the water, 290 feet. It's your classic ace hole. Okay. It is, isn't it? Yeah, got that backstop, short distance. Straight yep. line run at it. There is, so if you go out of bounds uh, short, there is a drop zone to the right. Um, uh -huh. It's pretty far away, though, maybe about 100 feet. Okay. Looks like that AVR again from James. Yep, and bluey instead of pinky. Parked again. Wow. Looks like Chris putter as well. I think this is a mid-range, to be honest you. think with you. so? I, I'm not positive. I don't know Prodigy's Plastic, admittedly, as much as I should, but that flies to me more like a mid-range. Yeah. But I don't know. Cam? 
Leaking That's a little, a right? Putter. Yeah. Eh, that'll putt still. And uh, James Proctor is going to throw it in for us. Oh my God. Not in the water, James. Not in the in, water. Throw it in I the water. I was talking about the basket. Oh, no. Proctor, Just shorted. He should have thrown the Central Coast harp. He threw the beat up BT hard one. Oh, uh, you're right. It would have held a little bit better. So now they're going over the rules. Um, there is a drop zone, but in the caddy book, it just says surrounded by water OB. Oh, so okay. we played both. We ended up using three. this one. Okay, right on. Yeah. That's a great par save, if nothing else. Unless he gets his plastic back, too. That's true. I mean, it was it was inches away from being back in. It was kind of suspended on a tree. Yeah. And a cam a little bit high on that birdie bed. He's going to settle for the par. He needs to start getting some birds here with uh, Chris's lead, which is growing. Yeah, starting to see some separation, though Conrad here is keeping up with him. Um, but with three holes to go, I believe it's a three-stroke lead at this point. Yep. I need to start making some moves. I All mean, right. it, it, that's probably the billionth time that's been said about a Chris Dickerson in Tennessee. Yeah, right. So there he is with three strokes over James. Uh, he's got out four over Cam uh, with just three left to play. Uh, the first one of those is hole 16. Yeah, and granted, the three holes we do have to play are scoring separator type of holes. Um, cool. This hole par four, 534 feet. Really, it plays as uh, an extremely long par three. Uh, if you can throw it well over 500 feet, there's no sense even considering the little like layup zone there. But that OB sidewalk just to the right of the pin does come into play. Um, oh, both wow. on the putts and the drive, you know. Uh huh. Absolutely. Uh, what's James throwing here? Back to the Scorpius. If it's if it's wide rimmed and bright pink, it's a Scorpius. Gotcha. That is fading out left early, but I guess that's a mistake you want to make. D exactly. I mean, granted, you know, you're trying to pin it, but we, me and Proctor, when we we're walking through, you know, we were talking about, oh, do you just lay it up? I was like, nah, just rip it over the thing and hit a 60, 50, 60 footer from the left. Yeah. There you go. Chris, uh-oh. Check up. Oh. Uh, there's we there's action now at least. He 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 unlocked the deadbolt on the board on the door. Exactly, know? exactly. Yeah. I wouldn't say the door is open, but yeah, it's looser. It is looser. Cam, get that. That'll be fine. Yeah, kind of in that in that Conrad zone over there with the kind of easy three. Those trees are gonna probably play a role. Not really too much of a line for the two, but. Yeah. James of the Proctor variety. That looks better, but yeah, it's, I'm it's better. It, it's a long eagle look. Yeah. Uh, Conrad, you know he wants this. Try to chase Chris down, but he will also take an easy birdie. Yeah, had I mean, had he did everything he possibly could. I just, I don't even think there was a possible line to get there. Now with that low ceiling before. And uh, Cam just lays up for his bird. Uh, Proctor. Tough eagle bid. James. James, <laughs> as it's as it's passing the basket, it's like, oh, my God. It's like, I forgot there was OB there. Oh, my James. God. Proctor. <laughs> oh. Oh, no, Corey. Yeah. Wow. All right. Maybe the handle lock is undone as well. Uh-huh. So that was his putt for three. This is for four. He's about to lose two strokes right here. He is about to lose two strokes on leading into a par five with OB everywhere. See wow. It <laughs> and then everyone's like, oh, I was like, what? I was like, oh, <laughs> There's James's <laughs> par. What's he chuckling about? <laughs> Uh, just explaining how he didn't even see the OB over the hillside, and everybody's like, oh. He's like, oh? <laughs> I love that guy. I know. Uh, I know. <laughs> Cam with the bird. Chris with the five here. Yeah, obviously yeah. not what you would prescribe um, on hole 16 when you're up three strokes. But, no. I mean, if anybody's capable of dealing with that, it's probably Chris. Yep. But there is that two-stroke swing. Uh there's our Conrad, just one back, Cam two. And we still got two holes left to go. 17, what are we doing? Oof, we are clenching every muscle in your body, and we're throwing it down the middle. 
944 feet. Long grass on the left is out of bounds. Sidewalk oh, wow. on the right is out of bounds. So, really? Yes, yeah, so you've really got to throw two placement shots, and then if you're in position, you can hit a long putt for your three. If not, just pitch it up and take your four. Wow. This has o OB written all over it, man. Oh, yes. I mean, this has good finish written all over it. Yeah. Uh, Conrad with a Scorpius flex. Wow. So, so good. So far down there. Crushed and in the fairway. Not easy to do. Cam, this looks great as well. That's also touched up. And he's still 80 short of James. Really? Dang. Proctor putting it way up in the sky. Get some fade. Get some fade. Uh, on the cart path even? On the cart path, off dude's ankle. It did? It hit him? It hit him. He watched it come in the entire time. Come on. I know. It was It was pretty bad. Oh, man. It, admittedly, he had a mouthful of vape at the time, so if that makes it better. <laughs> Couldn't see it through the cloud? No. <laughs> Here is Proctor throwing three. That looks like that's going to work. Yeah, that'll be nice. And Chris? Uh, uh oh. We got a ball game here, folks. Wow. Yeah. He's putting four. Cam throwing two. Oh, that's dropping eagle. Oh, it's not. Okay. But still eagle bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still close, but. It turns it's, out it's far away. The hole is far, yeah. Yep. James' second shot after that monster drive, able to throw just a heiser at it. Also has an eagle bid. Wow, he's putting for three. Dickerson uh -huh. really throwing more so for four. You're right. Uh, that was a layup from James, I believe, for par. Here's Dickerson for the birdie. He's got a five. Yeah. And these guys are going to birdie at least, at worst, right? At worst, yeah. Oh. Good bid, Cam. And Conrad... For the eagle. James. Really? Really? <laughs> Gosh. And that was for sole possession of the lead. This now is to maintain a tie for the lead. That's right. Or to get himself into a tie, right? Or get himself into a tie for the lead. Yeah. Good putt, man. Oh. After that roll away, those are so tough to hit back. So tough. And he does hit a little bit left side. That could have got pushed out. It kind of reminded me of hole three. Yeah. Uh, that we saw cams get tossed out on the left side. Yeah, that was definitely a 50-50 ball right mm -hmm. there. And thankfully it stayed for him. Uh, cams going to drop in a birdie after Proctor parred. And uh, Chris will par as well, which means we got a tie. With yeah. one hole left to go, Corey. 5-5 uh, five, five on 16-17. Nobody in their right minds would have drawn that up for Dickerson. No. He's been playing so flawlessly. Uh, but there is your tie. Cam's just one back, too, so he's not yeah. out of it. You know, he's right there. And this is, I mean, this is an absolutely separator hole, too. 290 uh -huh. feet. It's up and to the right. So, like, big sidearm guys. Zach Johnson would love this hole. Um, anybody that can get it to just run all the way up there. It's really demanding on a backhand. Low ceiling, and you've got to get it to glide out to the right without being too high. Backhand roller? roller. Backhand maybe. roller is in play. Um, yeah. I Yeah, it, the grass, granted, is not very roller friendly. Yeah. But it's there. I can see the shape working. Mm -hmm. Let's see what Con Conrad does. Looks like he's almost playing for par. Or, hey, Geeky shouldn't be, though. I no, no. I mean, he was great. definitely trying to birdie it, but yeah. he just, I don't think he executed what he wanted there. Yeah. Cam, I think, fought through for a second, but checked up. That's going to par. Now, door's open for Chris, though, to, to really stamp this out. Oh, it sure is. Oh, leaks just high. He's going to par, too. He is not stoked. That man likes to win. Yeah. <laughs> Or 
for 112 feet. <laughs> Here's Cam's second shot. That just lays up for the par. Kind of needed to throw that one in, honestly. I expected him to give a, a better bid. You know? Yeah, no, I totally agree. Like, oh, Chris there, I mean, he's really giving it all he had. Yep, and here is James for the win. Looks like a good uphill 60-footer. Playoffs? Playoffs. Playoffs. This is Jim James after proud. that ridiculous hyzer that he just threw. Wow. <laughs> he got up there, but it, not yeah. all the way. Not so much. That's a, this is a tough get. Mm -hmm. There is James with the par. That looks like we are headed for it. As uh, Proctor cleans up par. You take fourth? Uh, he actually, unfortunately, slid down into a tie for sixth. Okay. Um, those OB strokes towards the end really did kind of cost him a couple places. That guy's ankle probably cost him top five. <laughs> um, oh, man. Yeah, but oh well. I mean, we had a blast out there. It's hard to complain. Yep. But there is your tie after 18 holes. That means we got a playoff. Chris Dickerson, yep. James Conrad in a Vaprogy battle. And we are re-rolling this course straight up. Just 1-18. Oh, yeah? Cool. Let's do it. Yep. So we've seen it before. One. Yeah, we've seen it before, 515 feet. Um, really, if you throw that force over left to right, that's probably how you birdie it best. Uh, but uh -huh. really, these guys are probably just reaching back and throwing it as far as they can in that general direction and then trying to deal with the results. Yeah, we saw Chris go long. Uh, Seeing off around. first, Mr. James Conrad. Yeah. TD? Uh, that is one of the assistant TDs. He was just kind of helping out. Cool. Um, good dude, though. Yep. He, he warned us. The, the the TDs, though. We got Mike and uh, Will. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, dude. I mean, I had a lot more um, you know, exposure to Will. Been hanging out with him a little bit more quality, yeah. dude. Yep. Uh, Conrad looks to be fading out a little bit early. Probably looking at a three here. Yeah. I mean, he's in the push, though. He's going to have a 45-footer. Yeah. Outside chance at a two will give him. True. Looks like Dickerson's going to mash out an Annie. I don't think that one's going to hold enough either. Same fate. Yep, very similar. So, oh, Chris has got a clean look at it, though. He actually didn't. So, I don't know if you saw that. Wow. Wow. Uh, that was so close to going in. But he, yeah, it was. his back foot was on his lie. His front foot was in front. He lifted his front foot and putted. Oh, I've seen Jerb do that before. Mm hmm. Yeah. Oh, that's really cool. Uh, Conrad gave it a bid, though. Uh, but I have to settle for a hopeful par and a push. Good putt. Man, putts get, just get so much more scary in a playoff. I was just going to say that. I mean, that's an 18-footer, and all I could think of was like, holy crap, he's still got to hit this thing. Yeah, every every throw, every putt is a pressure putt, pressure mm -hmm. throw. Everything's amplified. Chris cleans up par, and we're on to hole two. That's cool. I like that foot thing with the putt, though. That's, that's creative. No, it really is, right? I yeah. You know, there's nothing behind you. You got to do what you got to do. Kind of like yeah. um, Ricky in the 2015 USDGC. He had to set a foot out of bounds to throw a flick roller, uh -huh. and instead of just keeping it planted, he just lift his foot, throw the flick roller, and stepped right back down. Hey, that's viable. Yeah. It works. All right, hole two, uphill, par three, 380. Uh, pretty reachable for these guys. Oh, very much so. Definitely a birdie hole. Um, really hammer it out right with something stable and let it drift all the way back left and, and hit your putt. That looks like the Scorpius for Conrad. No, this is the T-Bird. Oh, it's pink, man. It is light pink, though, and it's not <laughs> wide-rimmed. So right, he went, he right. threw a Thunderbird round, uh, during the round and went long, disc uh -huh. down to a T-Bird, same shot. S still long? Same yeah. same long, same length. It's, it's funny. Yeah, you go up a little a little more in speed, they still go. They don't go that much farther. No. Yep. And Dickerson, not a great shot from him. That's no. going to be a... Doors, you said you said the deadbolt was unlocked, yeah. right? Then we then we said the door handle lock was undone. Now I I mean the door is open. It's yeah, it's definitely cracked at this point here. The, he's looking at a screen door at best. <laughs> Dickerson, that's gonna par, and James is gonna have a putt for the win right here, guys. What are we at here? Thirty-five, forty. Yeah, we're we're slightly outside the circle, but of course we're sitting at a straddle. Yeah. Nope. 
Uh, the same exact spot he missed earlier during the round, too. He had that yep. same downhiller and just leaked a little left. Yep, you could see it right after it left his hand. Yep, and he knows it. Yep. That cleans up the par, and we more bonus disc golf. Yeah, real tragic. Yeah. No, you can tell. He knows it. I mean, you just don't give Chris Dickerson lives like that. He he has he tied this tournament up in a bow for James right there. Yep. For the last four holes, he really did has. his best to hand it to him. And now, I mean, you go and you throw a, throw a gift like that back, It's that's a tough pill to swallow. It sure is. Uh, hole three, what are we doing? We're smashing it out straight. It's that par four that really feels... Like like a three and a half, you know, it's halfway mm -hmm. in between. There's a world in which you could draw up a two on this, though. Yeah. Um, if you really get it out and moving, we saw Conrad with that maybe 75 footer uh, during the round during the the normal round. Yeah. Uh, but it's it's just such a tough decision in a playoff. Do you really try and get aggressive and, and go like two or a four, or do you hold back and just take a three and move on? Scorpius. Scorpius. Got that one right. Yeah. Oh, fade. Fade, fade. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, he kind of... I mean, in a playoff, you just go and go and go, and there's not, like, time to sit down and do scores, and I think he was still worked up about missing that putt, to be honest with you. Man, that feels like game over, man. Yeah, you know? I mean, especially when Chris just greases one down the middle like this. Yeah, you know he's getting up and down. Yeah. Well, hopefully James can throw it in for us. Yeah, <laughs> well, hey, he's, he's down there pretty good. He does. I mean, he has a chance. All right. Chris's second shot. It's leaking a little left here. Yeah, right. yeah I know. It, it did sneak left, but he's still well inside the circle. Yeah. Uh, James throwing three. Man. Had a chance for a second. <laughs> I know. It was just kind of floating up there. Chris for the win. No. Yeah. Uh. Uh huh. Chris. Uh huh. You don't miss those, man. <sighs> oh, that's got our that playoffs, man. Dude, and I honestly, I had a that you're standing back there and you just have that feeling, you know. The premonition. Yep. <laughs> uh huh. I don't know. If maybe he just like took a out slightly out of his, you know, uh, his routine took a little longer. Yeah, and the, and you Neil, know, there's there's a hundred people to your right, like ah, oh, nice, yeah. we get to go home. It's over now. All right, everybody, it's over. <laughs> nope. Wow. Here we go. More holes, Corey. Yep. Hole four, par five, big uphill shot, and then we're going downhill. Yeah, it's it's such a doozy. It's honestly probably a pretty good hole to be playing in this playoff. There, you know, it's it's not an easy one. Um, just see if these guys can get as far up the hill as they can. Yeah, yeah. We saw everybody kind of turned it over during the round, which I guess kind of gets you around the hill a little bit. You know, you don't have to go over the yeah, highest point. Yeah, I guess point. it. it the, yeah, that's true. The hill is a little bit shorter on that right side, but those dead trees in the middle of the fairway aren't the easiest obstacle if you get caught up on the right. Yeah, truth. Uh, we'll see what they can do. Got a good battle going, Chris and James. Uh, looks like Conrad still has the box. Yeah, as he will. He had the hot round during the during the round, so he he's you know kind of stuck on the box yeah. for all of these playoff holes. It's kind of funny they punish the hot round with having to go first. Like, I know. I've always sense. wondered about that. Yeah, that needs to get fixed, man. I agree. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, James crushed it up the top of the hill. Dickerson, this is a good looking pull too. Going to be similar to where he was during the round. Oh, hopefully he stays out of that stuff. It's yeah. It's basically the exact same shot. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Here's his second shot, lining up an Annie again. Oh, roller. See, this is what this is what kind of oh. made me think he might have been trying oh, that roller. I think I think you're right, man. Right? Yeah, yeah. Nice. That's fine. He's he's in bounds. He'll get up and down for a four. Yeah. I mean, it, it, this hole does ask for a pretty routine four, unless you're James Conrad, then you're really trying to get aggressive. Yeah. And that Scorpius just a little bit too low, uh, but still very up and downable. Mm -hmm. Throwing that JK AVR. It's a little left. He's going to have a little bit of work to do. He does, yeah. He's a little, little 20, 23 footer uh, for the four. Uh, looking at Chris's third. Hoping to have a pressure free putt here. And that looks like it, Corey. Yeah, that's just under the bucket, man. Yeah. 
really love it's, that. And and like we were talking earlier, like each putt during the round, this putt's like nothing. You know what I mean? But yeah. each, each one of these putts during the playoff, it's whew, it's a clincher. They sure will. And James with a great putt right there. Uh, looks like we're in for another hole. <laughs> Dude, it never ends. What a battle, man. We had the hour-long rain delay. Now we've got, this is our fifth playoff hole. I just want to get home and edit videos. <laughs> At this point. <laughs> right? Every hole is less sleep for Corey. It is, it's, that is the 100% truth. <laughs> Couple birds there taking us to our fifth playoff hole. Uh, hole five, part three. Uh, this one's just that basic hyzer, Corey. Yeah, it's... Probably not one that needs to be played during a playoff. It's a pretty basic two for all these guys. Just throw the hyzer and hit your putt. Hey, yeah, this is very true, but somebody could shake it. You never know. No, it's true. I guess every hole is good to play in a playoff. You know? Yeah, yeah. Only one guy has to mess up for it to matter. Truth. Conrad throwing a crazy spike hyzer. Yeah, it's like vertical. That thing a little short. That's not a putt I would want. No. Uh, no, that's there's an opportunity for a mistake. Dickerson, this one looks better. As it, because it is. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> he's done with pressure putts. <laughs> <laughs> I think after that whole three fiasco, man, he's just yep. like, no, 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 no more. Game over. All right, Conrad, to keep this thing going. Get it, dude. Oh, man. Another pressure putt. That was perfect, too. It's just dead. Center. That one could not have been more in the no. heart of the chains. Yeah, and on these prodigy baskets, that catches every time. Oh, yeah, in that, like, chain mail center. Uh-huh, part. yeah, you're good to go there. And there's Chris for the drop-in. On to hole six. A couple, couple birds right there. That's to be expected. Uh, James had to hit a good putt to keep it going. Absolutely, and this is when I buzzed into Harper, and I'm like, hey, just so you know, welcome to the longest playoff I've ever experienced. <laughs> I, I got you beat by one hole. So. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, Portland Worlds, man. Oh, that's right. Well, hey, yeah. we're still we're chasing you down. You, you got one hole left to go. See if you can catch me. Yep. Uh, hole six is a par five, eight fifty. Uh, going left around the corner. Um, this one, we saw some eagles, Corey. Yeah, it's kind of that like fakey par five, but this is an incredibly good hole to be playing during the playoff. Um, yeah. A lot of scoring separation, and really that risk reward is really real here. Sure is. Proctor makes a putt. Oh, good job making it. Everybody misses on drone film. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, Proctor unfazed. All right, let's see what they got for us. Uh, looks like the Scorpius for Conrad. Oh, yeah. Boom, Corey. Dude, airing it out. That guy crushes. Needs to check up, though. It's close. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, dude, the crowd went wild. Oh, that was flirting hard right there. Oh, it was inches, for sure. Almost got denied. Dickerson, this is a much safer shot. Still absolutely crushed. Yeah, that's could not be any better. Just absolutely down the center. Yep. Hanging out with Harper down there. Gonna have a clean look. This, what's James's look gonna be like here, though? You know? He's going to have a tight look, but he's probably going to have something similar to what he did uh, during the round. So okay. probably that force over MD4. Gotcha. Uh, Dickerson puts it up on a hyzer. This is looking. Oh, come on. Drop an eagle. Uh -huh. All right. Pressure on James here to get close. Looks like he's got that, uh, that M4. Looks to be fading a little early. It is. Kind of uncoiling, whereas that other one oh. was held. Yeah, and that one's went down the slope. Another pressure putt for James. Yeah, I mean he's just canned what two in a row, three in a row. So yeah, it's you know it's it's plausible. It is. Hopefully, keep it going. Here it is. Oh, just high. Yeah, and he knew it right out of his hand too. He knew yep. it. Dang. Well, at least it took an eagle to beat him. <laughs> that is true. You know? he can sleep with some solace now. Yeah. Yeah. Lost getting a birdie. Chris. Yep, is but not you know, that got, one. no, and you, and you got to give it up to James and and Chris both. Really, they held in there, and they both took some hard luck in this playoff. They did. Uh, and they both came back from it. They sure did. Great mental games back. on both those guys. Champions of Music City Open, Chris Dickerson. Woo! 
Congrats to Chris in the win, man. What a performance right there. I know. I mean, he really, he was just dominant from start to finish. Yeah. Um, it's unfortunate that he did have those few holes uh, towards the end of the third round to slip up. But, hey, for the sake of the drama, I loved it. Yeah. Man, Prodigy needs to get that guy on tour more, man. Like, I know. Whatever it takes, get that guy more money. Get him out there, man. I Isn't it? So more. this, it, it is an absolute shame that this is now, okay, I haven't actually heard this directly from his mouth, but what I've heard is that it's like, you know, he doesn't really have, it doesn't make sense financially for him to get out there and tour. Yeah. But dude, he is better than tons of people who are on tour. Yeah. He's probably top five easily, you know, like. Yeah. <laughs> wow, man. What what a great win there. It really fell apart there at the end of the round and then just came back for the playoff. Really impressive performance. Um, Absolutely. And really impressive job by the entire tournament staff. I'd, I'd like to take a second and thank yeah, please you know, everyone that, that came together. Their Nashville club is just a quality set of guys. And, you know, they put in the work and it shows. The courses are awesome. All right, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the Music City Open. Huge, huge thanks to TD for supporting us getting out there dd as well for making all this coverage happen Corey, you're the warrior in that humidity <laughs> Dude, well i maybe not a warrior but the humidity statement is accurate <laughs> dig it man all right guys hope you guys enjoyed that we got a lot more coverage coming uh champs chumps we got ledgestone coming up this weekend yes sir i'm on my way there now all right guys thanks for watching this one and we'll catch you in the next one